Good morning and welcome to Kid News, which is generously supported by the Nicholas B. Ottaway Foundation and its commitment to quality journalism and freedom of the press. I'm Tori. Today is Friday, November 15th, 2024. And we begin in Florida, which is keeping a wary eye on a new weather system. Tropical storm Sarah is currently in the Caribbean Sea, headed towards Central America. But if it makes a hard right turn, as some models suggest, it could pick up steam over the Gulf of Mexico and make landfall on Florida's Gulf Coast next week, possibly as a hurricane. If it does, it will be the third to hit that area since late September. It could still peter out, but people potentially in the path are being urged to prepare since recent storms have intensified rapidly due to warmer ocean currents. Hurricanes this late in the season are rare. Only three have previously affected the U.S. or made landfall in November. One in 1861, another in 1935, and Hurricane Kate in 1985, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration records. Four Los Angeles area residents are in hot water for submitting a claim to their insurance company saying their Rolls Royce was broken into and trashed by a bear. Bad bear behavior is fairly common in California, and the people making the claim even submitted video of the incident. But when investigators looked at the footage, they saw that the bear was actually a human in a costume. Law enforcement officers arrived at the residence with a search warrant and found, you guessed it, a bear suit. Turns out the four had filed numerous claims with other insurance companies for different cars, claiming the same bear attack and received $142,000 in payments. Three NASA astronauts who returned to Earth on the Crew-8 mission more than two weeks ago are still not discussing the medical issue that sent them to the hospital afterward. One of them wound up staying overnight, though all were ultimately given a clean bill of health. The trio, along with a Russian cosmonaut on the mission, returned to Earth October 25th on a SpaceX vehicle, concluding a 235-day mission. But the four were taken to a Florida hospital for what NASA called an abundance of caution. Space travel is hard on the human body, and the more research scientists do, the more issues they're finding. A report this month concluded that long-duration spaceflight impacts the body much like aging, only faster. British researchers found that radiation, absence of gravity, and the lack of a protective magnetic field, like on Earth, all cause cellular damage. This could be a serious obstacle to realizing the goals of someday colonizing the Moon or Mars. And a follow-up to another celestial body we reported on a few months ago. Back in April, astronomers promised that a sky show is coming soon, so you'll want to be ready. They were talking about the star T. Coronae Borealis, which was expected to brighten dramatically at some point between May and October. Well, you didn't miss it. It just hasn't happened yet. But scientists say, be patient, it will. Every 79 to 80 years, the star flares up to become one of the brightest objects in the night sky. This is called a recurrent nova, and only a handful are known by astronomers. So keep looking. It will happen soon. Scientists just aren't sure exactly when. Carrots are said to be good for eyesight, but now scientists say a couple handfuls of pistachio nuts does the trick even better. Researchers at Tufts University in Massachusetts have concluded that just two ounces of pistachios per day can boost the levels of lutein. It's an antioxidant that, among other things, protects our eyes against harmful blue light that can degrade vision over time. While lutein is also found in kale and spinach, to get the most benefit, the study suggests, pistachios are the way to go. The research also says you should start eating lutein-rich foods when you're young so that you'll have sharper eyesight throughout your life. Still ahead, art done by AI scores a hefty payday. But first, today's Kid News Quiz. What state is keeping tabs on a rare November storm? Florida. What spectacular sky show promised by astronomers hasn't happened yet? 
a dramatic flare-up of the star T. Corone Borealis. What was found in the home of one of the people who claimed a bear attacked and damaged their car? A bear suit. What food do some researchers say is even better for eyes than carrots? Pistachios. In today's Kid News Kicker, move over Picasso and Van Gogh, a painting created by a robot named Ida, was sold at an art auction last Thursday for $1.08 million. Called AI God, Portrait of Alan Turing, the artwork was created by Ida, a human-like robot with short black hair and a female voice. Ida can not only paint, but converse with people as well. Alan Turing was a 20th century British mathematician who came up with many ideas that led to the development of computers and artificial intelligence. The portrait was expected to sell for around $150,000, but there was so much buzz that someone ponied up more than six times that amount. Before we go, we want to shout out our terrific Kid News teachers, Mrs. McGinnis, Mrs. Fosman, and Mrs. Valamont and the Myers Tigers at Myers in Grand Blanc, Michigan. Mrs. Pritchett and the Sedalia Lions at Sedalia in Mayfield, Kentucky. And Ms. Foreman and her Holmes Hawks and the FIFO family at Oliver Wendell Holmes in Oak Park, Illinois. Thanks for listening. We've just kicked off our biggest fundraising campaign of the year. Please consider donating to help us stay on the air with fun, fresh news five days a week. Have a great day. We'll see you back here for more Kid News Monday morning.